Welcome back to another video. So this video is specifically for a 370Z and even more specific, a base model. Now, obviously I have a base model. I don't have the heated seats, so these are blank. And I noticed you don't really have anywhere to put anything other than this cup holder and this little cubby. So I'm actually gonna be replacing this with almost like a phone holder, I guess you could say. On one of the 370Z uh, Facebook pages. I actually found the 3D printer file for this. Um, so I had it printed and I'm going to be installing it. I did not make this file. Like I said, I found it. I will link it in the description, but I mean, it turned out amazing. Hopefully you can see it, but I'll just kind of show you guys the install for it. First things first, we're going to go ahead and take this out. I don't know if I can do it with one hand, but I saw a couple videos saying you just press here and then you can pull up here. Yeah, I can't do it with one hand. So I'm going to start pulling out and then I'll pick up the camera again. Okay, so that didn't take much force at all, but it just pops out. And then looking underneath it, you have, what is that, four? You have four little Phillips head screws that you will take out. I'm literally recording with my knees right now, so hopefully this isn't too bad to see but I'm just gonna take these screws out so now that all of the four screws are out it just comes apart like that now that that is gone we can go ahead and put in this new I literally don't even know what to call this but I'm gonna say phone holder we're gonna go ahead and pop this in the reason why I highly suggest this one is because there's two holes right here for screws and they directly line up with the ones that you took out. So you're actually gonna be reusing two of the same screw holes. Another reason I decided to go with this file is look at this fitment. It is, it's kind of hard to see, but it's flush and on top it's flush, which is amazing. And I mean, looking at it, you wouldn't even know it's 3D printed. Now we're using the same screws. I'm going to go ahead and put them back on. So one and now the second screw. I'm going to go ahead and put that one on. Perfect. And this is what we have. Two screws. So unfortunately, like you don't use the other two, but still holds really well. Look at the front. Here we are. The fun part, we get to put it back. So it literally just slides right in. Just like that. And I mean, look at that. I have an 11 Pro Max and it doesn't fit, I think, unless I take the case off. If I take the case off, it fits. For size reference, it goes this way. Almost this way, but that way. I don't use it, I probably won't use it for a phone holder. I have one here that I like to use for when I'm like using for directions, but I mean, you can think of many other ideas for this as well. Probably for me, I'm just gonna put like my spare change in there. I don't know. That's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope this helps. If you have any questions at all, just feel free to leave a comment. And again, the link for this 3D printer file will be in the comments. So. If you want that, if you're looking at doing the same thing, go ahead and check that out. And yeah, you can print it in whatever color you want. I just picked black just because it fit the interior of the Z. Till next time, peace out.